after the U.S. and China ended two days of unsuccessful negotiations. U.S. President Donald Trump instructed to start the process of imposing taxes on all remaining Chinese imports estimated at 300 billion Vietnamese dongs U. S. dollar. U.S. President opening four consecutive tweets in the early morning of May 13th, Mr. Trump said that China was the hardest hit by the U.S. tax increase. There is no reason for U.S. users to pay taxes. This has been proved recently when only 4% of Americans are born and 21% are due to China. Studies show that U.S. consumers and businesses will be most affected by Mr. Trump's tax policy. On May 12th, Mr. Kudlow himself admitted that China is not a taxpayer. In contrast to President Trump, who always says that China will pay taxes and thereby enrich America. Mr. Trump also mentioned Vietnam in the above tweets and said the way for U.S. companies to avoid taxes is to import from non-tax countries. Many taxable companies will leave China and look to Vietnam or other Asian countries. Therefore, China really wants an agreement. No one will buy Chinese goods anymore. However, Carl Weinberg, chief economist of the company, predicted high-frequency economics pointing out that many Chinese manufactured goods are not made in any other country. Therefore, U.S. companies have no choice but to pay taxes. After a series of news written by Mr. Trump on Twitter, China declared no surrender in the U.S. trade war. The Chinese government today announced that it would never surrender outside pressure in the context of the U.S. threatening to impose duties on all exports from China to the U.S. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Sang Sang at a press conference on May 13th announced, We have said many times that raising taxes will not solve any problems. China will never surrender to external pressure. We have our beliefs and capabilities to protect legal and legal rights. The trade war between the world's two largest economies heated up on May 10th, when the U.S. decided to impose a $200 billion tax on Chinese goods after President Trump criticized Beijing breaking down, dot, single quote, dot, by withdrawing the commitments made by the country earlier in the negotiations that lasted for several months. China announced it would respond to the latest U.S. tax moves, but did not disclose details. Chinese Foreign Ministry said, about details, keep watching. Just like the American way of speaking, that's to wait and see. Today, Chinese state media continue to post strong comments, confirming that China's dialogue door is always open. But the country is also determined to protect its interests. Chinese state television said the impact of U.S. tariffs on China's economy was completely manageable. That is not a big problem. China will turn the crisis into an opportunity and use that opportunity to test its capacity and make the country more powerful.